Hello, today we are going to learn how to graph equations. So you'll be given an equation in slope intercept form and we will graph it on a coordinate plane. You should take out this lesson worksheet so that you can follow along as I go through the example. So we're going to graph the equation y equals 3x minus 4. Now what we're actually doing today is going backwards. We've had graphs with lines on them where we had to pick out the slope and the y-intercept and then write the equation. Today, we're starting with the equation and then we're going to go backwards and we're going to draw the line. Now, we know how to do all of this, okay? We're going to graph this equation using the slope and the y-intercept. So that's our first thing. Well, we know what the slope is. We certainly know what the y-intercept is by now. We know also that all of our equations are written in y equals mx plus b form. So this equation right here is in slope-intercept form, right? And we know that that is y equals mx plus b. And by knowing that, we know what the 3 is and what the negative 4 is, right? We can easily tell which one is the slope and which one is the y-intercept. All right, first thing, step one, we're going to plot a point on the y-intercept. now. I think it's a good idea, like we've been doing, to highlight your y-axis, just so we can see exactly where it is that we are putting this first point. Because not all graphs are perfect coordinate planes. Sometimes the y-axis is a little over to the side or they're only giving you one quadrant. So it really is good to highlight it in the beginning until you get used to doing this. All right, so we're gonna plot a point on the y-intercept. Now, if I look at this equation right here, I know that B is the y-intercept. So that tells me that the y-intercept of this equation is negative 4 because that's the number that is being added or subtracted on the end. And this right here is my y-intercept. And I always write a little note that this is where we're going to start, right? Start here. That's the y-intercept. So on the y-axis, I'm going to put a point at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's my first point. The second step is we're going to use um, the slope to put more points on the graph. We want to put as many points as we can fit. We want to go in both directions. Again, I'm getting it from the equation. So I look up here and my slope is the number that is being multiplied to the x, right? So this 3 right here is our slope. Now, we always want our slope to be written as a fraction because we need to know what our vertical change and what our horizontal change is. So our slope, I'm just going to write it again over here, for this equation is positive 3. If I want that to be a fraction, I'm going to put it over top of a 1. So now I've got my slope, 3 over 1. Positive 3 on the top tells me that I am going up 3. Positive 1 on the bottom tells me I'm going 1 to the right. So I'm not going to the origin, I'm going to this initial point right here, my y-intercept. This is where I'm starting. And I'm going to count three spaces up, one, two, three, one over to the right, put a point. Count up three, one, two, three, one to the right, put a point. And I'm going to do that as many times as I can fit on this graph. Okay, so I started at the y-intercept, negative four, my slope is three. A slope of 3 means 3 over 1. It means up 3, 1 right, up 3, 1 right, up 3, 1 right. So now that I have as many points on this graph as I can fit, I'm ready to draw my line. So I am going to draw my line all the way through the whole entire graph, right? We're not doing a little connect the dot here. I'm not just going to draw two points and then connect just those two. I am going to go all the way through the entire graph. So this is what my line will look like. Now, we also know that lines go on and on in both directions, so I could add some arrows to the end here. But that is what the line or what the graph of y equals 3x minus 4 would look like. Okay, let's scooch down towards the bottom. And we have a couple more examples here that we're going to do. Now, at this point, if you're feeling good about this and you want to stop the video and try the first one and then you can start it again, um, to practice on your own, that's fine. If you would rather just stick with me as I do these three examples, that's fine as well. All right, I'm going to start out again by highlighting my y-axes. And you know what? I might as well just highlight them on all three. So we've got all three of these, and I'm highlighting the y-axis. 
Okay, here's our equation. Let's pick out some slopes and y-intercepts. If my equation is y equals x plus 3, the y-intercept is the number added or subtracted on the back. It's a positive 3. There's my y-intercept. My slope is going to be the number added or subtracted, I mean multiplied to the x, not added or subtracted, multiplied to the x. I don't have anything multiplied to the x, I just have a plain old x. So we have to remember that that really means there's a 1 there. So this slope is going to be 1. Okay, when I graph this, I'm going to put a point on the y-intercept. We're always starting there. So here's my y-axis. I'm going to start at the origin, 1, 2, 3 up, right there, right? That is where we start. Okay, remember, actually, let's write it again because this is always a problem, right? Start here, right? So you're starting right there at positive 3. Now, if our slope is a positive 1, we want that to be a fraction, so let's make it 1 over 1. Positive 1 means we're going to go up. Positive 1 on the bottom means we're going to go right. So from here, not the origin, but from here, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Now, when I run out of room going that direction, I'm going to do the exact opposite because I want to put as many points on this graph as I can fit. So instead of going up and right, I'm going to go down and left, down and left, down and left. And I'm just going to keep going until I cannot fit any more points on this graph. And then I'm going to take something straight, like a ruler or just a straight edge, anything that's straight, and I'm going to draw a line through all of these points. It's going to go through my entire graph. I'm going to put arrows on both ends to show that that line continues in both directions. And this would be the graph for y equals x plus 3. OK, next problem. So I got a little problem going on here because I need the y-intercept, but I'm not seeing anything added or subtracted on the end. So when you have a problem where there isn't a number added or subtracted on the end, we're just going to think of that as a plus 0. So our y-intercept is going to be 0. We're going to put our first point right here at 0, right, right at the origin. Now, our slope is 1 third. It's already a fraction, right? So we don't have to make it a fraction because it is a fraction. Positive 1 on the top means we're going to go up 1. Positive 3 on the bottom means we're going to go 3 to the right. So from here, we're going to go up 1 and 3 right. I can't go up 1 and 3 right again because I ran out of graph. So I'm going to go down 1 and 3 left. That's all I can fit on the graph. So it's time to draw my line. I'm going to go through all of those points, right, all of those points. And I'm going to make sure that I put arrows on both ends because a line goes on and on forever in both directions. Okay, our last example. We are rolling right along here. Y-intercept. It's the number added or subtracted on the back. Negative 5. It's going to be our starting point. So I'm going to put my first point all the way down here on the y-axis at negative 5. My slope is negative 4. Now again, this one's not a fraction, so we need to make it a fraction, right? I'm going to put it over a 1. A negative 4 on the top tells me that I'm going to go down 4, and a positive 1 tells me to go right 1. Okay, problem number 2 here. If I start here, I can't go down 4 and write 1 because I ran out of graph. So for this one, I'm going to have to do the exact opposite right from the beginning. Instead of down and right, let's go up 4 and 1 left. And then up 4 and 1 left. Okay, And you'll see that if I start up here, right, instead of starting at the y-intercept, if I were to start at this point, it is now going down 4 and 1 right, down 4 and 1 right, right? So that slope is working, okay? So you can always do the exact opposite. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to go through all of my points. I'm going to put arrows on both ends. And that would be our graph for y equals negative 4x minus 5. Hopefully you guys feel good about graphing equations using the slope and the y-intercept. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me in class tomorrow. And if I am not your teacher, make sure you ask your teacher when you see him or her tomorrow. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.